What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a very fun episode. We managed to get our hands on some Cosmic Eclipse. We bought basically a booster box worth of packs. They are loose packs. I'll get into that in a little bit about the why well, I had to buy single packs, which is kind of strange. But uh, we are going to be opening up 36 packs of Cosmic Eclipse. I'm assuming there's 36 in here. <laughs> I didn't actually count them. But then we also have some mail as well. We got some fan mail from our buddy Eric or EMC Squared. And we also bought a PSA card. Uh, so we're going to get into all of that. But uh, this is... Uh, yeah, we managed to get a little earlier. A little early. My understanding is that these should be hitting the market on Friday. But I think it's that LGSs that essentially did pre-releases and stuff they can sell starting today so when i found out i was like oh my gosh all right i'm gonna make some phone calls in the morning and boom we managed to get our hands on a bunch of packs so here we go cosmic eclipse the fun can finally begin in earnest i'm excited you know this thing at first with all the hidden fates hype i wasn't sure how this was going to be received whether hidden fates were just going to you know continue to overshadow this set but now i'm kind of more confident and you know i feel like this thing has stuff for competitives has stuff for collectors so super excited and for our first pack we got a flabebe so the reverse rare slot that's where you can get those character rares and then a lowland muck i do like that art <laughs> it's just rumming through the trash panic poison uh, i think we looked at this before and sludge bomb for 110 uh these attacks are kind of interesting but the panic poison i think if that's a little bit stronger i think that would be worth it with all those effects but for only 20 damage and something you have to evolve it doesn't really get me too excited so the store i bought this from they kind of have a promotion where if you buy 10 packs you get the 11th one free and the price of a booster box was pretty high and then i was like trying to do ooh, roller skater very nice card trying to do some mental math i'm like wait a minute is it cheaper to buy single packs like how can that be the case and they're like oh you know it's just a special promotion we're running and uh so i ended up buying them singles and they wouldn't sell me the box so i mean i feel like there's a very small chance that there's some you know shenanigans going on there but i highly doubt it but we'll find out because uh yeah we have enough the so these are packs from like multiple booster boxes but uh, I doubt there's any funny business going on, but I think we'll find out really quick and it'll just be good to know for myself for future future pur purchases. Uh, you know, I'm all, I'm all, I can be all for supporting LGS. Uh, and, you know, obviously they're going to have to charge a little bit more for, you know, they have to maintain a store and stuff like that. That all makes sense to me, but the, the difference in price is pretty, uh, pretty high. But uh, time pull. Let's get to these cards. Like I'm so excited for this set. Jang Mo O. Ah, just a Weavile. What does Weavile do? Switch your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. That's not bad. Slashing claws, just 110. But yeah, I'm I'm very confident this is an LGS that is dependable and don't need to worry about anything like that. And probably like halfway through this opening, we'll open up some of our mail as well. So a bit of a mail day. Great start to Cosmic Eclipse. Misty and Lorelei. Interesting card. Search your deck up the three water energies. Reveal them. Put them into your hand. So that's just like, okay, you get three cards out of it. Okay. And then you may discard five other cards from your hand. If you do, during this turn, your water Pokemon can use their GX attack again. So that's an interesting card i feel like if you're up against a water gx type like that thing must always just be in the back of your head the back of your mind like the gx attack could come again all right let's see tropius apom woobat ducklet swirlix a lowland grimer crab brawler and then a cradilly Ooh, rough start <laughs> if we go through like the entire box without getting any hits i'll be like shocked Let's see, stuff that we want. Oh, let's get this guy. In in the Japanese one, we managed to pull the alternate art of that, and man, that looks so good. So that's definitely at the top of the list. And obviously, ooh, great catcher, very good card. That we do have the secret version of that already. It's pretty stoked about it. Ooh, there's a character rare of Torkoal. Not the best, uh, not the coolest turtle, but it is a turtle, so we're definitely gonna want him as well. Skrelp. Pikachu, that's a pretty cool Pikachu art. Draganium Z. 
And then, oh yes, we got it already. Blastoise finally has his tag team and we just pulled it. Let's take a look. We were talking about earlier, Misty and Lorelai, how you can reuse GXs. Let's see if this one has a good one. All right, Splash Maker 150, three energy. You may attach up to three energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way. If you do, heal 50 damage from each of them. Uh, Heal 50 damage from those Pokemon for each card you attached. Wow, okay. So I'm not sure if you need six energy on this, but you could heal up to 150 damage from any of your Pokemon while ramping them up. And then Bubble Launcher GX, 100 plus. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Not bad. If this Pokemon has three extra, okay, that's cool, a Splash Maker attached to it. In addition to, the, um, this stack does 150 damage more. Okay, so it's kind of like uh, the Raichu one. Or it's a little bit different, but you can do two max 250 for six energy. And uh, you know, if Reshi Zard still becomes a thing, like this thing will just like one shot them. And you know, Flare Strike can't knock that out. Like yeah, Double Blaze can, but then Splash Maker would you know undo most of the damage while knocking out the Reshi Zard. Hmm, not bad. Maybe is it is it time for Blastoise to shine yet? I'm not sure. Like the ramp up. What is a good way to ramp up? The water Pokemon. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Alright, so we did get our first GX. One thing I will say is like, man, after doing all those hidden fates, we knew this was going to happen. But going from getting a hit every other pack to, you know, you have to go through four or five, sometimes six packs to get your hits. So it's going to take a little bit to get used to. Draw energy. I do like this card. We'll put this one to the side. Rolts. Anytime you draw cards is good. It's a good time. Connie, another Lost March card. Scrump. And, ooh, Stoutland. Okay, we do have a foil Stoutland. Oh, I think we pulled the um, the character rare of this. Place Pokemon Evolve from your hand. You may discard energy. Oh, okay. When you enter and leave the battlefield, essentially you, you discard energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's not bad. And then overrun 100. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Could be interesting. Just a uh, rare candy into Stoutland and remove some energies. That effect can never be underestimated. But yeah, we'll see what the pull rates are from this uh, from this first box. Actually, I didn't confirm that there are actually 36 packs in there. Ooh, okay. Let's take a look at Guzman Hala. Ah, oh, this art is so lazy. Search your deck for a stadium card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Okay, not bad. One for one. Oh, but if you discard two cards from your hand, you may also search your deck for a Pokemon tool card and a special energy card. All right, so three for three, a um, little bit of everything, special energy, so you do need to use special energy. Beastite, this is a pretty cool card. I wonder if this is worth adding to a, eh, probably not for a Malmar Giratina deck with Ultra Necrozma and Dawn Wings. Unlikely. Lilip, Palpitoad, Jang mo -Oh, Deerling, Golet. Dewpiter, Pangoro, and then Seismitoad. So you can expect a bunch of Cosmic Eclipse openings this week. And then we'll get the rest of our boxes, hopefully on Monday. It only takes a little bit of extra time for it to get. You know, a lot of my product does come from Game Nerds, and you know, they are shipping from Texas. We do we did try some new eBay vendors and we'll see how that goes. Vaporeon. All right, this is the Evolutions plus 60 HP. Absol, Lilip, Snow Runt. That's not bad art. Coughing, coughing school. Oh, I want the secret rare coughing. Shoutouts to Ricky. I think I saw on Discord you posted. Um, I think you pulled one of those already. Lantern. Hmm. I feel like we opened a good amount of packs. Not been doing a good job keeping counting, but only one hit so far. We're due for another one. I guess I, I can count the code cards. Mimikyu, I do like this card. Lily's Poke Doll. Uh, so actually, let's just redo this. Play this card as if it were a 30 HP basic Pokemon. At any time during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may discard all cards from it and put it in the bottom of your deck. So you can use it to. Um, when it's out there, you can just retreat it, or not retreat it, but get rid of it any time. This card can't retreat, so you nope, not retreat, but you can go back to your deck. If this card is knocked out, your opponent does not take a prize card. So potentially this could just like time walk your opponent or their attack. 
Sneasel, Spiel, Alolan Meowth, Ralts, Simeon, Cradilly, and then a Palo Sand. Guard press. During your turn, opponent's next turn, 20 less damage. That's pretty bad. Earthquake 150 does 20 damage to each of your benched Pokemon. What? That's terrible. That's a lot of energy for a. I thought maybe it was going to be all your opponent's bench Pokemon. If it was like 20 damage to just your opponents, then it would still be. Oh, I'm still not sure that's good enough. But as is, that's terrible. These pull rates, I don't know. Maybe uh, next time I have to just buy the booster box. Alright, Golduck. Will. Um, this is a cool, this is a cool card. Like the Blissey stuff. Uh, some of those Blissey decks. But let's redo this. Next time you flip any number of coins for the effect of attack ability trainer card this turn, choose heads or tails for, oh, just for the first coin flip. Eh. Oh, for Zatu though. That still sounds really good. Deerling. Oh, actually, I want some Zatu. P Dupider, Whalemur. Ooh, Blacephalon. This was the pre release card. Put four damage counters on your Pokemon's Pokemon anyway. If you have exactly three prizes, do 120 damage in any way you see fit. Sounds like a good way to knock out some of them Jirachis. Uh, get. Um, what's his name? Dedenne, pretty close. Malamar. I'm gonna work down those Naganados and stuff like that. Oh man, alright. Uh, potentially there's five left here, so we've gone through a lot of packs already. And still only one hit. Flareon! Evolutions do 30 more damage. That's pretty cool. Igglybuff. Oddish. Rufflet. Piplup. Vulpix, Celio, that's a pretty uh, basic art. And, whoa! <laughs> we got the really cool um, legendary trio. And it's like the statue form, alternate art. Oh my gosh. All right, so um, now I'm much less worried about these packs. <laughs> oh god, this card is super cool. I feel like the Reshi Ram may be stronger, but this thing you can't ignore its potential. It's pretty insane. We'll get into it in a second. Wow, we got the alternate rare Arceus Dialga Palkia. This is a this is a good way to start the Cosmic Eclipse release. Ultimate Ray for 150. Water, metal, colorless. Search your deck for up to three basic energies and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. That's a lot of ramp. Um, okay, this is pretty small font. For the rest of your game, your Pokemon do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. If this Pokemon has one, basically, or a water energy attached to it, um, in addition, in addition in this attack's cost, blah, 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 when your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. Basically, you take an extra prize card every single time. So you can just pop this whenever, and then maybe the next turn you can use the ultimate ray. I wonder, I feel like it's a lot of energy types, but this is really strong ramp up, and it's like, what do you pair with it? So you already have water and metal. I mean, do you just use that to get Blastoise ready? I'm not sure. Like the Reshiram, that's, maybe that's just two many different types of energy. I think that one was fire and electric. So unfortunately, there's no alignment there. But I'm sure that thing can be splashed in many different decks, especially once uh, once there's a bunch of different really strong tag teams that use different more than one type of energy. Or basically the dragons. Vaporeon? Okay, so I'm super stoked we got that, that pull. That was insane. We got a tag call. This card is insane. Search your deck for two tag team cards. Reveal them. Put them in your hand. One, two, uh, two cards for one card. Very nice. Delmise. Slugma. Chincho. Cosmog. Pancham, Drillbur, Whimsicott, and Trevenant. So we will be on stream later today, and I think we'll open up a Trevenant box, the Trevenant Dust Noir, just to kind of figure out if we how well it works to stream. I think I found a way to do it, but we'll see how the frame rates are. So 
tonight, 7 p.m. EST, we will be streaming PTCGO, and uh, we'll try some openings as well. So swing over if you can. Mallow and Alana, let's take a look. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench. Okay, when you play this card, discard two cards. If you deal heal, if you do heal 120. All right, so three cards for a switch plus a heal. Hmm, I don't know. That's kind of like a switch and two mixed herbs, like all combined, but a little bit stronger. Coughing. Oh, the coughing blowaway bomb is pretty cool. Nose pass. Pyroar. What do we have here? Stage one. Discard all tools and special energy. Special energy. Interesting. Keep blast for 140. And then a Victini. Victory heal. Once in your turn, you may heal 20 damage from one of your bench Pokemon. All right, so it doesn't need to be in the active. Victini always has some pretty cool effects. All right, so far, almost halfway through this box, and it's hard to read too much into the pull rates given that these are basically loose packs, but we only got two hits, but one of them was a monster hit. Leap Rotom, Nose Pass, so in the second half, we're hoping for a little bit more volume. For Bebe Spiel, and we haven't gotten any character rares yet. Larvesta, so I, I'm still not sure how rare they are. Nuzzle. Okay, so oh, I've been facing a bunch of nuzzle decks on VTCGO. Powerful Spark, 20x. This attack does 20 damage times the amount of... Ooh, okay. Alright, but this is that you can't distribute like the uh, the other Raichu. Uh, but you don't discard them. So this could uh, kind of like start attacking right away. And then maybe the end game is you use that whatever attack that you discard all the energy and does like 30x for each one. Some potential there for sure. Those nuzzle decks are pretty cool. Alright, so uh, let me know what your thoughts are on Cosmic Eclipse. I'm, I'm super, super excited at this point. Should be fun to, you know, I feel like this will really shake up the meta. Actually, all sets do. Lily's Full Force. This card really is a head scratcher. Draw four cards. Cool. But at the end of your turn, you have three or more cards in your hand. Basically, uh, at, shuffle them into your deck until you have two. What is the point of that? And then Lycanroc. Boiling Blood. If your opponent's Pokemon is a... GX or EX, this Pokemon's tax costs three colorless less. Wow. Oh, this is one of the cards I'm actually really excited about. If you have a special energy, it does 130. So potentially this does free 60 damage for a fighting type, which could have its uses. And then if it has a special energy, you know, it does massive damage. Probably one shots. Um, well, one shot, whatever. But so on the face of it, if it just does 60 though, that 130, that's pretty cool. Alright, for the first half of a box, two hits is very, very concerning. Vibrava, Probo Pass, Iglybuff, Helioptile, Carvana, Tepig, Togemaru, that's a fun, fun art, Onyx, Nose Pass, wow, wow, okay, only two hits, but one of them was really good. Um, all right, so I just double checked. We just opened 16 packs and only got two hits, but one of them was this beauty right here. Uh, before we get into that second half of the box, which will probably be about six, another 16 packs, let's go through some cards we picked up. So in one of our recent market videos, we talked about Jungle Unlimited PSA 9. And as I was going through, I was like, ooh, my collection is not as far as long as I thought it would be. So we picked up Wigglytuff, oh no, Cleefable, what am I saying? Cleefable PSA 9. This is the Unlimited set. And we got this at a very good price. We picked this up for $20. So a car that's, you know, was it 20 years old at this point? For $20 PSA 9 foil. Ooh, that's a win. So I was very happy to pick this up. Thank you, Eric, for sending this out. There was some trouble with his initial package. And yeah, if you didn't know, always in the description of our videos, there is that PO box. You can send me if you do want to send me something. I did take a quick look just to see the message, just to see if there's any pers of personal information, but I didn't find any, so we will go through this on camera. So I want to make sure I got everything. So thank you, Eric. Let's see what we got. What's up, man? Hopefully this one actually gets to you and quicker. Yeah, there's a small chance this the first uh, envelope you send will arrive hopefully soon. Hope the other one does eventually get to you as well. I think you will like it. Uh, here are some shinies you said you don't you don't have, and I included some an awesome Shadow Lugia. What? 
and Dark Gyarados. I'm not familiar with those. I figure you will benefit from them more than I will since uh, you are more invested in Pokemon than I am. Keep up the good content. I will see you online here soon to trade you the Shiny Zard. Ah, which we did pick up. EMC Squared. Thank you so much, Eric. I really appreciate that. So let's see what we got. We have four cards. Right, I'm guessing these ones we should look at after. And a pre-release Dark Gyarados. That is amazing. What is this, from year 2000? 1990 something to 2000, I can't really read it. But, okay, back then, like, cards were not very strong compared to what they are to her. And the Dark Pokemon, especially from Rocket, like, HP was so low. 70 HP for Gyarados. Let's just read this. Final Beam is knocked out. Flip a coin. If heads, this power does 20 damage for each energy attack to Dark Gyarados. That's not bad. Um, and then Ice Beam for only 30 damage. <laughs> Flip a coin. If heads paralyzed. Oh man, thank you so much. That's a that's a blast from the past card. And I don't have pre-release cards. Whoa, what is this? Shadow Lugia. Is this a custom card? I don't think it said cut like indicated whether it was custom or not. <laughs> okay, that looks amazing. So it is a custom card. Um but thank you so much. That's really cool. Some of the custom art that people can do these days is really amazing. But let's take a read through. Shadow Aura. It's, I don't know if Shadow Lugia is a real thing, but that looks amazing. Each Pokemon with Shadow in their name does 30 more damage. Gale of Darkness, 200. Place two energy cards attached to this Pokemon into the Lost Zone. And then Endgame GX. That's a cool name. A thousand. <laughs> this attack can only be used if you have... What was that? Three or more Pokemon with Shadow in their name. Hmm, very cool stuff. Let's take a look. I think they said something about shinies. We have some dark stuff, and then, whoa, Reshiram. This is still one I've not pulled. So thank you so much. Uh, let's see, Flame Charge. Search your deck for up to two Fire Energy. Ooh, this is from. Is this from Dragon uh, Dragon's Majesty? And you know, I'm surprised. This thing I would assume is still in rotation. And I feel like that'd be pretty good for like a Mewtwo deck. And then Scorching Column 110, your bones active Pokemon is now burned in Vermilion GX. You may attach it to five energy from your hand to Pokemon any way you like. And then let's see what else we got. Boom! Whoa! Darkrai! <laughs> we have managed to pick up a Darkrai and recently, however, I did trade it away. I think I traded for like a Professor Elm's full art or something. So this is filling another gap in our collection. Thank you so much, Eric. Restoration. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your discard pile, you may put it into your bench. Detach energy to your discard Pokemon. Okay. Dead end. It's knocked out. Alright. Some awesome cards to add to the collection. And these are two that we don't have in Hidden Fate. So thank you so much, Eric. And uh, yeah. Definitely... Definitely very much appreciated, and uh, yeah, address is always in the description down below. So I didn't really count these out, but let's just take a look. 5, 10, so 16. Alright, so this is a 32-pack opening, kind of a weird number. Uh, we do have more in another booster box, I just didn't really count them out beforehand. So a little bit less than a full booster box. Hopefully things pick up. We're only getting two hits so far. It does seem a little strange but there's plenty of time to catch up. And to be honest, like they kind of just took two booster boxes and we counted out all the packs I was going to purchase. So, I mean, it's possible they're all just in the other box. Erica, interesting card, not crazy about it though. Each player may draw up to three cards. Not sure why you would deny, say no to that unless you're about to deck yourself. Bye Brava, great catcher, very nice. Duskull, it's a very cool card. Timple. Piplup. Oh, we managed to pull two of the Dawn ones. Super happy about that. Ponyta. Absol is our reverse. And then a Sunflora. During your next turn, ignore all energy in the attack cost of Grass and Fire Pokemon. What? Solar Beam 80. Okay, so you could just use this. Let's say you go second. Oh no, you can't evolve though. So, but, alright, whenever you can, Solar Power and then... I don't think Venusaur Snivy had a big attack. I feel like that power was the main thing. But for fire, oh, you got plenty of good options. Do like a flare strike or something. 
So, interesting card right there. I wonder if someone will be able to brew something cool with that mechanic. Especially if you're going to use like a G or a tag team attack next turn. So you're running tag team, so you know, losing a non-GX is not the end of the world. Timple, Flabebe, Alolan Santru. I like that art. Ponyta. Ponyta. And Whale Lord. These Whale Lords, is there ever actually I think um someone used a Whale Lord deck to me and actually took us out with the Magic Art Whale Lord GX attack. It was epic. But I was about to say, I feel like Whale Lord's always like a meme card. Although it did uh did do its thing one time and uh took the game, took the match. Alright, now I'm starting to get worried about these uh pull rates. Not gonna lie, next time I'm gonna have to uh, pay up for the box just to put my mind at ease. I think we just got very fortunate, or it's possible we just got very fortunate with those pulls. Cosmog, and then a Lantern. Did we look at this here? As often as like before your turn, you may look at the top card of your opponent's deck. Alright, Psychic Energy, Anorith, Balls from a Fossil, never a fan of that. Alright, this is an interesting card. So, stage 1, only 1 energy. Basically, if you have 1 card in your hand, it does 130. If you have 3 cards in your hand, 30 plus Confuse. And if you have 6 cards in your hand, it does 60 to 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Actually, that 30 damage, so if you have a 6 card hand, that's actually not bad. Then, you know, the other ones are... The like the 130 is not bad for one energy, but you know no one likes to be down to one single card, especially at the end of your turn. But interesting card nonetheless. I think there's definitely potential on there for that. You know, spread 60 damage, especially when it's a non GX. There we go. We got our first character rare. For some reason, this like the the off centeredness looks like it's like really standing out. I think there's just the contrast between the yellow and then the foil. So we did get, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on her name, but we got the Steelix Secret Rare. Discard any number of Pokemon uh, with a retreat cost of exactly four from your hand. This attack does 50 damage for each of those. Never heard of that mechanic before, that's kind of cool. Iron Tail, 100x, flip a coin until you get tails. Oh my, that's interesting. Um, Metal Energy plus triple acceleration plus will, is that worth it? So guarantee 100, Groudon. Drought. Attach up to two fighting energies from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Okay, so we got some fighting ramp. Pretty cool. And then Trembling Ground. Your Pokemon can't use Trembling Ground during your opponent's next turn. Hmm, I wonder if this is like, you know, if you go turn two and you're running a fighting a fighting deck and you just use that turn one, that's pretty cool. And alright, we got our first character rare. I think these deserve a double sleeve. Steelix always looks, you know, he has like the most evil looking smile. I am a huge fan of these character rares. I, my favorite part of it is, actually it's unclear to me still how actually rare they are. Uh, from pre, like, pre-release prices weren't that high, but I think it's a great way to basically add some collectability to non-GX cards, which up till now, you know, the full art, the rainbow rare, it's only been for GX Pokemon. So kind of spread the love and allows you to swag out decks that aren't just running tag teams or GX's. Alright, something terrible happened. We had some technical problems after I finished recording, loaded the video and it's like, oh my gosh, these videos are corrupt. So I do have the face cam footage, which is not the important one. But so we're going to just recap our polls. Uh, some of it did not make it to the video unfortunately so overall you know opening 32 packs i don't think we got the hits that we normally would but it's not too far off you know a couple hits short uh maybe those hits will be in the next opening we only uh but huge thank you to eric for these amazing mail day cards this shadow lugia is pretty cool uh dark gyarados pre-release that's amazing and two hidden fates cards that we need and then we did pick this up on eBay for a very good price, 20 bucks. And to recap our polls, we did very good in the secret rare department or this character rare department. Got Steelix, 
which we still need it. Stoutland, this is our second Stoutland. And then Coughing, Roxy Coughing, definitely our favorite art of this set. Four pulls, Flygon, not crazy about it, but maybe there's something there, pretty strong. Sil Valley, very cool card. Disc Reload, it's gonna be really useful. Boom, we got the Blastoise Piplup. We want the secret ver variety of that, the alternate art. Very cool card. But then, oh man, we got the statue, leg uh, legendary statue, <laughs> Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia statue art. Very cool. As far as the alternate arts, like, the statue's cool, but I don't know. I feel like there could have been maybe something stronger, <laughs> something cooler. Uh, but either way, that was a great way to start off our Cosmic Eclipse journey. Uh, we're going to have some more. We have another box that's not completely full. So we bought a total of 66 packs. So we just did 32. So we have another 34 packs to open still. So stay tuned for that in the near future. And starting next week when we get our pre-orders in, we're going to have tons of Cosmic Eclipse openings. So a lot to look forward to. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that button down below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all down below. I'm a Wanted Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.